what would you say about how the new music scene, specifically New York, has responded to uh, COVID-19 and the stuff that's kind of happened in this past year? Oh. <laughs> so number one, I think um, just musicians everywhere are, are pretty devastated, right? Um, the um, the fields and our careers are, are in many ways put on holds, um, especially financially. Um, those of us who have some teaching are, are in a much uh, safer, more secure position that way. But in terms of creativity, I think one of the things that new music really relies on, or for me at least in my um, my little world of it is chamber music and getting to have really close interactions with other musicians and um, and also just really close interactions with other composers, inviting them over and workshopping and just having that back and forth and actually being in each other's physical presence is so important. But I think um, even within that, there's been a lot of creativity and a lot of sort of new ways of um, working together and this summer there were a lot of outdoor concerts um and sort of i did a recording session in prospect park i did a really great project with my group wayfield um where we gathered in a parking garage and um it was this actually quite beautiful parking garage and uh, because it was open on three sides um it was much safer much more ventilation but still had the sound of a of a space um yeah so we commissioned a few pieces to be written um, there. And actually one of the pieces we had written is written by Jesse Cox, a composer I'm playing this evening as well. And we played, we just had like one read down of each piece and then we recorded it, which is a weird way to rehearse and record. <laughs> but uh, but it, it, it was a new way of sort of thinking about how to, how to play music and how to play music with others. Yeah, absolutely. 